Hi everyone, just making a quick video uh, to explain to you how to manage uh, payments with credit cards, Visa, Mastercards, uh, Stripe and so on uh, in a tool. So what you have to do in order to manage those type of payments, um, because the difficulty here is how do we track those payments and how do we reconcile easily with your bank a statement which will, which will only mention the whole payment at the end of the month instead of all the details. How can we reconcile this easily? So the first step is to create a new journal. So I'm just going to create a new journal for my credit card and choose the bank type. I'm just going to say first uh, that way I can have a new account from my chart of accounts assigned. If you want to track your statement, you can leave this configuration as it is from your, your credit card statements. If you don't and just only want to be able to distinguish your payments uh, between credit cards and wire transfer, um, you, ne you need to take this account and replace those accounts with it in the outstanding receipt and outstanding payment account. So I'm just going to do this, save, and I'm just going to, to now uh, pay some bills with my credit card. So I'm just going to go in the bill, so I have two of them. I'm just going to register a payment and choose my credit card journal. So it helps me see that for those bills, I have paid those with a credit card. I can directly see it through the bill and see that it was paid through credit card here. So now I have paid $1,500 for two different bills. But when you upload, import, synchronize your bank and uh, see at the end of the month what your credit, uh, how much money you have used uh, with your credit card, you will see only the total. So here I'm going to put uh, statement one. I'm just going to add credit card transfer and put minus. Fifteen hundred. Just update the ending balance, save, post, and when I reconcile here, what I'm going to do is use the account for the credit card as a counterpart without any details. I just want this payment to be related to my account for my credit card, um, my credit card journal. If you want to make this faster, you can always go in the reconciliation models, create a new model. I will assign it to my journal bank and I say the counterpart will always be my credit card account. If I go back to uh, reconciling my item, now I can decide to click on the button for the reconciliation model and it will automatically fill in the information for me. I'm just going to validate this is done. So here good thing, the good thing is that on my bills those are both paid. Uh, yeah, if I check the payment status, those are, those are both, both paid through credit card and on my statement, everything is reconciled. The last thing I want to do is link those two information because uh, I don't have a link between them. So what I want to do is go through the accounting uh, menu through the general ledger, check the credit card account, select those and click on reconcile. Reconciling means that you would say those items are linked together, they concern the same information, the same uh, trade. So I just want to reconcile those. Okay, that seems fine to me, debit equals credit. I can decide to reconcile. Through that action, I just assigned uh, a matching number for all those three items and Basically, what is going to happen is that when I check 
the payment that are registered through the credit card here. Through this reconciliation, it allows me to have a link between the bill and the statements, uh, which corresponds to the bank statement and not a credit card statement. Okay. If you want to um, to manage also your credit card statements, what you have to do is go in the journal for the credit card and keep the outstanding payment. Outstanding uh, payment. Yep, that would be receipt here. Outstanding receipt. Outstanding payment. That way, we keep it that way. Which means that when we have a new bill, let me create one for Amazon. Okay, let's buy books. $500. What happens is that if I use those outstanding payment and outstanding account, just need to put a date here. When I use those accounts and I register payment, so I'm going to choose the credit card again. I'm going to create the payment and here, instead of the paid status, I'm going to have the in-payment status because this payment is waiting to be reconciled with a statement. So if I check um, the credit card um, journal, I can decide to create a statement which comes from your credit card bill. And I can decide Amazon payment minus 500 and I'm just going to put this and this entry is going to be reconciled with my payments coming from my bill so here I'm reconciling those two validating and now if I go back to the bill it's definitely in the paid status okay and last step would be we resume the the first uh, the first um, the, the the first method. So you could at the end of the month you will receive your bank statement, credit card transfer for minus five hundred, extra thousand, post. And I, when I reconcile again, I will use my credit card as a counterpart validate and then check back in the general ledger taking the 500 and the 500 from here so the one that are unreconciled you can do easily this also by filtering through the unreconciled button um, that way I maybe mean, I know those are both reconciled with other things so let's keep it that way okay reconciling those together and as a result, if I check my 500 payments, I will also see the link with the latest statement.